In this video, we'll go through the steps of installing a PV array using Tamarack Solar's FM racking system. The FM system's innovative features were designed and engineered with the installer in mind, with the goal of making PV installation on virtually any rooftop simpler and faster than ever before. The first step to any good installation is proper layout. Start by marking the corners of the array and then fill in by marking the locations of the roof rafters. You can find rafters by looking under the eaves, looking in the attic, tapping with a hammer, or using a rafter finding tool. Use a chalk line to mark rail locations across the roof, positioning them roughly 20 to 25% of the way in from the panel edges. The FM racking system attaches to virtually any roof mount that uses a 5 16 or 3 8 inch vertical mounting slot. The Tamarack Flashed Alpha is a great option for composition asphalt shingle roofs, as the flashing has been shortened slightly to eliminate nail pulling at its top edge. We'll use it to illustrate a typical roof mount installation here. Tamarack's engineering documents assume 5 16 inch lag bolts with 2.5 inches of minimum embedment into structural rafters. Use a pilot drill to confirm rafter locations and to avoid splitting them when bolts are installed. If the drill pushes through, you likely miss the rafter. A rafter finding tool can help you dial in the precise rafter location at this step. Once you've confirmed your rafter location, use a roofing bar to peel up the shingles above the mounting location so the flashing can be properly positioned. Apply an appropriate sealant in the pilot hole and secure the lag bolt through the flashing and L foot. If the lag bolt does not tighten up, you probably missed the rafter and will need to investigate further. Once roof attachments are installed, it's time to install the rails. If your roof mounts don't come with rail adapters installed, loosely install them now. Lay out the rails on the roof and insert rail splices where needed. The splices install without any tools. Simply squeeze the top edges of the splice together to slide it first into one rail, and then into the adjoining rail. The raised bumps in the middle of the splice keep it centered in the joint. Make sure the rails are lined up to ensure they slide together smoothly. The top edges of the splice press against the inside of the rail, providing a reliable bond path per UL2703. Once rails are spliced, they can be attached to the mounts. Slide the rail mount adapters into the mating features at the bottom of the rail, making sure both features are engaged. Tighten these bolts lightly now to hold everything in place during the leveling process. To level the system, start with the top and bottom rails. Make sure that they are parallel and the ends are lined up and then tighten the bolts to lock them in place. From there, midfield rails can be leveled by sight or string lining between the top and bottom rails. After all rails are installed, aligned and leveled, Go through and torque all mount adapter bolts to 12 foot-pounds. If using microinverters or optimizers, install them now. Tamarack MLPE adapters secure this equipment directly to the rail and are easy to install. PV conductors can be routed securely inside the rail channel using the Tamarack wire clips to keep them in place. Complete your system wiring and grounding prior to module installation. Install one ground lug per row of modules using Tamarack's UL2703 listed ground lug. The lug works with number six to number 10 bare copper ground conductors. Modules are bonded to the rails by the module clamps, so a single lug per row of modules is all that's needed. Alternatively, the system can be bonded through the module frames as shown in the listing documentation. With wiring in place, it's time to begin installing modules. Tamarack's proprietary 5050 module clamp is an industry first, functioning as both a mid and in clamp. To use as an in clamp, place the side with two grounding pins on the module frame. Push the clamp up into contact with the side of the frame and tighten. Installing the bottom row of modules first will make it easier to install the rows above. Place the first module in the row siding along the top or bottom to align it with the rail or roof edges. Lay the PV conductors and other wiring inside the rail channel, using Tamarack's snap-in wire clips to secure them as needed. Secure the first module in place 
by tightening the first two module in clamps. It's common to run module leads under the next clamp set in the row, but avoid placing cable connectors directly under the clamps, as they could be damaged when bolts are tightened. With the first module clamped in place, add the next two module clamps. Place the next module and repeat the process for each module down the row until all modules are positioned, aligned, and clamped in place. Repeat the process for additional rows, leaving a half inch gap between rows for airflow. 5050 clamps are tightened to 12 foot pounds in the mid clamp configuration, six to nine foot pounds in the in clamp configuration. For premium aesthetics, you'll want to use Tamarax channel in clamps, which allow rail edges to be flush with the edge of the array for a clean, finished look. To use the channel in clamps, start by making sure the clamp bolt is a little loose and preload the clamp into the rail ends, sliding it about six inches in from the end of the rail. Lower the module down into position and tighten the clamps on the opposite side of the module to hold it in place. With the module secured, reach under the frame and slide the channel in clamp into position, fully seated onto the lip of the module frame. Hold the clamp in position with one hand while you tighten the bolt with your other hand. Channel in clamps are tightened to 12 foot pounds. End caps are the finishing touch to your solar installation. Make sure the ends of the rails are clean and deburred and press the rail end caps into place. The end caps work great with either the 5050 end clamps or the channel end clamps. With the caps installed, the installation is done. Step back and enjoy your work. Once you've completed a few installations, we believe you'll agree that Tamarack Solar offers the most advanced PV racking solution available. If you have questions about your installation or could use install tips, please don't hesitate to contact us directly. We're here to help. Also, we love getting feedback on projects or ideas for product improvements directly from customers. Visit TamaraxSolar.com for contact info, technical documentation, and installation guides. Thanks for watching.